Here are signs that have the seven like symbol that has something to do with diamonds and jewelry deposits. You have to know that jewelry deposits refer to items which can be diamonds, gemstones, silver coins, and gold coins. Number 1. Diamond Treasure Deposit. Number 2. Jewelry's Deposit. Number 3. Golden Buddha and Jewel Deposit. Number 4. Jewelries. Number 5. Jewelries and Money. Number 6. Treasure Under Deposit. Number 7. Proceed Digging. Number 8. Door. Door. We have here a 7C Yamashita treasure sign. The interpretation of this sign means door which again has nothing to do with the hidden deposit. Proceed digging. As you can see on the image above, the sign consists of a 7-like figure. When interpreted, it means proceed digging. Just like the 7KD, it has nothing to do with the item deposit, but an instruction that gives direction. Treasure under deposit. One among the most commonly asked meaning of a Yamashita treasure sign is the 7KD. The meaning of this sign is very simple which means treasure under deposit. Despite the presence of the seven-like symbol, its meaning has nothing to do with jewelries or diamonds. Jewelries and money. What do you notice on this sign? If you got it right then there is again the double seven symbol, but this time is has an additional symbol on the right, which is a small oblong shape symbol. Just like how we interpreted the double seven sign above, it also gives the same meaning on this sign. The oblong shape symbol is what represents the money deposits. Jewelries. What do you notice on this Yamashita treasure sign? If you are going to look closely, you will notice that the sign is composed of two seven-like symbols. It can be described as double seven. Since it is a sign that is composed of double seven, it is actually putting a lot of emphasis that the hidden deposit consists of pure jewelries. Golden Buddha and Jewel Deposit. Shown on the image above is one among the most interesting Yamashita treasure sign that you should be happy when you found it. As you can see, the very first symbol from the leftmost side is commonly viewed by many as similar to the numerical number 8. Unfortunately, this symbol has nothing to do with the number 8, it's because when you are going to closely analyze it, you will notice that the symbol is a human figure. Thus, it represents the Golden Buddha as the deposit. Next to the symbol of the Golden Buddha is the seven-like symbol. Just like the above interpretation, it indicates the presence of jewelries which are in addition to the Golden Buddha deposit. Jewelry's Deposit. This Yamashita treasure sign has the seven-like symbol which clearly indicate that the deposit is composed of jewelry items. If you have a copy of the Yamashita treasure signs or codes, you will notice that most of the signs that have references to diamonds and jewelries have the seven-like symbol. As you can see, the symbol on the left side is closely similar to the number seven, while on its right side is a positive or plus symbol. The meaning of this sign is diamond treasure deposit. On this video, I would like to introduce some of the booby trap danger signs that are most commonly encountered around. Let's first start with the flower symbols. Many of you have already encountered flower symbols engraved on surfaces of concretes and rocks. There are several different designs of these flower symbols, but despite their differences, they all have one similar meaning, which has something to do with presence of booby traps. On this first flower danger sign here on our illustration, it consists of eight petals. According to some treasure hunters, the more petals the flower has means, the more dangerous is the booby trap. But for my team, we always consider all flower signs as equally dangerous. This is another flower sign, but unlike the previous one, it has six petals. Again, despite the less number of petals as compared from the first, it is still best to treat it with extreme caution. As you can see, this third flower sign that we have here has a lot of petals. You already know what it means. 
But the good thing about it is that, it gives confirmation that it is protecting a huge treasure deposit. If you notice, there is the asterisk-like symbol in the middle that we have already discussed in the other previous video, which is a representation of millions worth of deposit. This are the box of buried Yamashita gold bar deposit treasure sign. Boxes of gold bars. Treasure deposits in the box or chest. Box of gold. The reason about their slight similarities is due to different individuals who illustrated those signs. Just for information purposes, these treasure symbols used by the Japanese Imperial Army are kungi symbols which was a long forgotten ancient form of writing from Japan. Thus, even the Japanese Imperial Army themselves were not quite familiar with them which explains those differences. Circle signing closed by multiple dots. On this illustration, we have a Yamashita treasure sign that is composed of a circle enclosed by multiple dots in rectangular arrangement. You have to know that the circle symbol have several different meanings where it can only be clarified with paired to another symbol. Anyway, the sign on this illustration do have the same meaning as the treasure on the spot, which is the first sign covered above. As for the multiple dots around it, they refer to the number of depths before you can uncover the hidden treasure deposit. Thus, count the number of the dots, and that will be the depth which is in terms of feet. With these examples, what did you notice about the meaning of the multiple dots when being paired to other signs? If you noticed it, when multiple dots are paired to a sign that gives direction, the dots are interpreted as the equivalent number of distances. But when the dots are paired on a certain sign that is related to the hidden treasure deposit, the dots are interpreted as the number equivalent to the depths. There are some of you guys who have already encountered these multiple dots arranged in a straight line. The interpretation is that, it has something to do with distance and directions. What you have to do, is to count the number of the dots which is the equivalent number of the distance in terms of feet. When it comes to the direction, you should follow one of the two ends. In most cases, there are additional signs, that confirms which end for you to follow. If you happen to discover multiple dots that are arranged in circle, it means that the hidden treasure deposits are composed of objects that are made out of gold. So you can expect that the item can be gold bars, gold coins, golden Buddha, or mixtures of these three. Another common shape that you may encounter which are composed of dots is a triangle. But in most cases, the dots are only composed of three dots. The meaning of three dots arranged in triangle, simply refers to the hidden object. This sign is actually often accompanied by another sign that tells about directions or certain locations. So if you happen to encounter three dots with triangle arrangement, then you should look for additional signs or markers nearby. Moreover, the Japanese Imperial Army soldiers sometimes don't use multiple dots as clues of distances or depths. Instead, they more often use kanji symbols which are a lot harder to be decoded. For this sign, this one has a curved body. So what does it exactly mean? This fish sign marker is actually a lot more interesting. The main reason why this marker has a curved body has something to do with the actual site itself. Let's have another example for this particular sign. The curved body of the fish actually illustrates the part of the creek where it has a curved portion. It's because of this curved portion of the old creek, this is the part where the item is hidden. Your follow-up question might be, at which side of the creek is the item hidden? To answer this question, this is actually the reason why the Japanese Imperial Army soldiers often use dots as an additional symbol to represent the item deposit. So in most cases, the fish sign that you will most likely encounter is accompanied by a dot similar to what is shown in this image. However, if the fish sign that you discovered really does not have any dots around it, then it is best to assume that the item is at the outside portion of the curve. But before you come up into this decision, it is still best to check both opposite sides of the curve. Try searching for markers which could help in confirming the correct side. The best interpretation for those strange rocks resembling a foot shape that are uncovered under the ground is 5 feet depth. 
you have to know that it is not really an exact 5 feet deep. The Japanese Imperial Army used estimates on their measurements which are not accurate. What they did was that, once they dug a hole having a depth of a height of a man standing then that is considered as 5 feet deep to them. Thus, it is always a good practice to extend your diggings deeper. A foot sign does not only give clues or hints about directions, distances and spots to dig, but it also tells something about the hidden treasure. This is the reason why the Japanese Imperial Army commonly used this particular sign, because it tends to confuse individuals who does not have deep understanding about this symbol. The giveaway treasure sign is always accompanied by some other signs around. In most cases, they are combined or placed in one group, such as being engraved on a surface of an old rock. Giveaways are also considered hidden treasures, but only in small amount or quantity. Some treasure hunters called it, bonus. Another good thing about treasure giveaways by the Japanese Imperial Army is that there can be multiple deposits that they had hidden around the main site. Some giveaways will come in other forms of precious objects such as old coins, jewelries or diamonds, and antiques. This are the Yamashita treasure sign of giveaways using the Japanese Imperial Army. Number 1. Giveaway Gold Treasure Deposit. Number 2. Giveaway Coins Treasure Deposit. Number 3. Giveaway Jewelry Trawer Deposit. Number 4. Giveaway Treasure Deposit. Number 5. Giveaway Treasure Jewelry Deposit. Number 6. Giveaway Treasure is hidden on this side. Number 7. Giveaway Treasure is hidden on this side. Number 8. Giveaway treasure is hidden on this spot. Number 9. Giveaway treasure is hidden under a body of water. Number 10. Giveaway treasure is hidden under. Number 11. Giveaway treasure is hidden on this corner. Number 12. Giveaway treasure is hidden inside. Number 13. Giveaway treasure is hidden at the opposite spot. Number 14. Giveaway treasure is hidden under. Common symbols indicating the presence of the hidden treasure. Let us cover the most commonly used symbols by the Japanese Imperial Army, indicating the presence of the hidden treasure on a certain site. Number 1. The commonly used X sign. Number 2. Millions worth of deposit. Number 3. The M symbol. Number 4. Arayu. Number 5. 
Dots or holes. Number 6. Triangles. Number 7. Human figures. Number 8. Rock, enclosed treasure. Number 9. Rectangles. Number 10. Diamonds. Diamonds. Aside from gold deposits, precious diamonds were also hidden by the Japanese Imperial Army. There are actually several different treasure signs pertaining to diamond deposits, but the most commonly encountered sign by treasure hunter are those with figures similar to the number 7. Rectangles. The meaning of rectangular signs is almost similar to the other signs discussed above. However, it offers a lot more specific description about the contents of the hidden treasure which mean boxes of gold bars. Rock, enclosed treasure. Encountering a rock enclosed treasure deposit means that the object is hidden or contained inside the rock itself. Thus, digging is not required but breaking the rock. Human figures. Some signs consists of human figures, but most of them only have heads with missing bodies. This is because the heads provides the most important hints about the location of the hidden object. Anyway, any signs composed of human figures indicates that the hidden deposits are images of golden Buddha. Triangles. Triangles just like the X sign also have several different meanings, but in reference to the hidden deposit, it means volume of treasures. Dots or holes. Small dots or holes are common Japanese Imperial Army treasure signs indicating more specific locations of the hidden items. Let us have an example. Assuming that you found an X sign with a dot on its right side engraved on the surface of a large old rock. This basically means that on the right side of the large old rock is the exact digging spot of the buried object. The Reiyu. The Japanese Imperial Army used the symbol Reiyu in denoting their gold treasure deposits. These items can be in the form of golden Buddha, gold coins, gold bars or any objects made out of gold. The relationship of these symbols to gold is due to or representing the gold element on the periodic table. The M symbol. A symbol that look like letter M actually means that the treasure deposit is hidden within a certain body of water, such as the river, pool and stream. Although, recovering such deposit really offers extreme difficulty, especially if a strong force or current of flowing water is involved. Tip. When dealing with water-related projects, it is best advised to work on them only during the low tide season. Millions worth of deposit. If you encounter a sign similar to an asterisk symbol, it actually mean millions worth of deposit. This refers to the value of the hidden treasure back in World War II which was worth millions, but on this present day, this value could be worth billions or perhaps even more. The commonly used X sign. The X sign is one of the most commonly used symbol indicating the spot where the treasure was hidden or buried. Unfortunately, it has several other different meanings already covered on this post, meaning of X sign.